Hello and welcome to week 5, the final week of GE3510 Macroeconomics. This is the final week and that means that we need to get everything done by the end, by the close, by Sunday of week 5. That includes any work within week 5, any late work that says in prior weeks need to get everything completed by Sunday, by the close, not generally being allowed to have any late work for uh, the final week of the course. The final grades will be out of my control Tuesday night, and therefore the, the week will close on Sunday. I'm going to try to get everything input by Tuesday around noon, and then you really want to go in there and check as soon as possible and let me know if there are any questions as soon as possible, because Tuesday night will no longer have control over the grades, and it's much more difficult to address any problems after that point in time. Also, if anybody has any issues that want an incomplete, a two-week extension, and you believe you're going to qualify for a two-week extension, then let me know. we got to get that done before the close of uh, the course in order to have a higher chance or, uh, of getting it accepted. If we go after the course, even if it's before Tuesday, then it probably will not be accepted. So we want to get that done by Sunday. And I don't recommend having a two-week extension unless it's a last-case resort. And, of course, you'd have to qualify for it for a few reasons. One is that it really makes the next mod more difficult in a lot of ways, even if it's accepted. And two, it's not always accepted. we got to make sure we got to go through the registrar's office and see if it will be accepted and make sure that we uh, get you know have all the requirements that are needed and then fill out all the paperwork correctly. So the standard situation is someone had like say a hospitalization or something like that and that would mean that they couldn't finish the work this mod but they will be able to finish the work next mod. Hopefully the event has now passed and the argument would be uh, this situation happened this mod, it's not their next mod and therefore I have the time to make up the work in uh, the following mod along with the current courses that we're taking. So if you have any questions about that, if anybody thinks they'll qualify, let me know. You would have to go to the portal, fill out the portal uh, form. It's going to be on the left side. It'll be something like a two-week extension form. And then they'll also email you something. So you do need to be using the student email in order to get that email as well. So again, uh, let me know if there's anybody that has questions about that. Then we have the contact information up top with the name, email address, phone number. Best way to contact is generally with email setting a few times that we can then meet by phone and or screen share software. Scrolling down in the current week we are in, week five, the final week. We see the familiar layout of the objectives, the topics, and the lessons. We're going to be covering chapter five, chapter fifth, and chapter 19. Chapter five, covering demand, which of course is a topic that will be uh, of importance to both microeconomics and macroeconomics. It's going to be one of our core topics. And then we're going to be looking at saving, capital formation, and financial markets. The financial system is going to be one of the most important systems that we look at. And that's because it's really kind of intertwined with every other system. The financial system is part of every other system, whereas every other system is not necessarily as connected to uh, every other system. For example, the auto industry, you can say, is kind of connected. Everybody has autos and whatnot but not in the same way that the financial system in that everybody uses currency. Loans are something that's going to be used by every industry. And therefore, economists spend a lot of time looking at the financial system. So it'll be a very important and I think very interesting area to look at, to how, what it's money, how it's money created. We often don't spend a whole lot of time thinking about that. And there are a little bit more abstract concepts, concepts of money and, and how we uh, use it and how we trade things are a little bit more abstract than we may think at the first glance. So then we have our resources up top. If you click on these resources, you will then go to the resources. You could use the URLs up top to go there directly without going through Portal or Moodle Rooms. We also have the audio presentations here, audio lectures, and you can take a look at those. Uh, those might be useful if you want to listen to them while doing something else, like doing uh, chores or jogging or something like that. If you wanted to find those on a podcast, it is possible to do that. It should be on Stitcher. If you want to download it on a phone and uh, and go, you know, uh, in the car or something like that. And I think it's on the iTunes. Uh, it is, it is at, on iTunes podcast as well. So if those are options that uh, are, you are available, then you can take a look at those. Then we have the discussion forums on down. That's what we need to get done. Remember that the discussion forums are worth 21% of the grade. You want to really just shoot for full credit for, for 21%, for 100% of that 21% in uh, the discussion forums. The way to do that is to post at least four times. I recommend posting more than four times to make sure that we accumulate upwards 
because the posts do accumulate upwards. In order to get full credit on any posts or to get credit on, on any posts, one, we need to, to uh, add new content that's related to economics. If we copy and paste anything, make sure that you reference it uh, so that we're not plagiarizing and to get credit on that post, we also want to put it in your own words, paraphrase it, and or critique it, say whether or not you agree with it. If you um, see someone else's post and, and give a reply to the posts, we really want to work on giving a bit more than just our opinion on, on the reply, or at least when we give the opinion, that we give it in terms of economic terms. We want to make sure to put some of those economic terminology and look at it from an economic angle and um, possibly even reference it to uh, someone else or, or some other source in terms of an economic definition and or uh, theory. And then we got the assignments and the homework and the quizzes. Uh, remember that most of this, of course, will be in McGraw Hills Connect, but although it's all in, or a lot of it's in McGraw Hills Connect, it won't all be listed there. And although most of it is not uh, done here in Moodle Rooms, it is all listed here. So whether it's done in Moodle Rooms or not done in Moodle Rooms, it will be listed in Moodle Rooms. And therefore, you want to use Moodle Rooms to check everything off. Make sure you're checking it off, whether you're doing it in McGraw Hill or uh, Moodle Rooms. We then have the final down here and uh, make sure that you take the final. It's probably worth the most points and therefore do not get a zero on the final. Everything do is due since it's week five by the close of the class, uh, but the final is worth the most points. Therefore, if you run into a time constraint, take the final. Don't get a zero on the final. Ten points is better than uh, zero points on the final. Remember that the grades are going to be out of my, I, you have to get everything in by Sunday. There's no late work generally, but if you have questions, then let me know and, uh, and we can, we can talk about any kind of issues. The grades will be done for me. I won't have, uh, contact with them in Moodle Rooms after Tuesday. So they'll be pushed out after that point in time. We have a lot less leeway. So, uh, get to me as soon as possible if there's any questions. If you do want to look into an incomplete, uh, two week extension, we need to do that before Sunday. Remember to do that before uh, Sunday. We do have the course surveys down here. So we do appreciate you taking the instructor surveys. Uh, the instructors do get feedback on uh, the surveys. The Charter College expectations for the instructor surveys is around 95%. It's important to note what the instructor has control over and does not have control over. The instructor does not typically have control over directly, at least, the design of the course, like the shell, and the way it's formatted and what types of things we're going to use, including Connect or the textbook on it. If you have questions on those, you can put those into the discussions on, on into the, the feedback portion, the text portion, <laughs> and we can get those to the, uh, to the design team and see if we can have, update any kind of adjustments or, or questions you have on that. The instructor, of course, does have uh, control over discussion forms. Uh, getting back to questions on time, uh, questions on the grade book, of course, uh, and then adding any kind of resources that might be helpful as well as contacting students that may be having some type of, of issues and whatnot to check up and see what's going on. So that's going to be it So for week five. So have a great week five.